Hello. I went to a really good masterclass today. Um, Katie Jane Hughes hosted it with Elemis, and she basically, if you don't follow her already, she's one of my favourite makeup artists on Instagram. She basically goes after like a really glossy skin look, always tends to do a bit of colour on the eyes and lips. Um, I just think she's quite different to most people I follow. Really like her. So, learned loads of good stuff. I'd never met her before today. I'm just going to show you everything I learned on the masterclass and also um, just kind of reenact it so that I remember it myself, to be honest. I do this with dance. Whenever I go to dance, I record the routine so I can practice it at home. This is the same kind of thing. So I've started with my eyes done, I should point out. She said, start with your eyes done and then you can wipe clean and whenever you do the rest of your complexion, you haven't got any drop down, which does make perfect sense. I've put on, this came in the post today, first time I've used it, lovely. This Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil in Viper. It's coming up quite dark on this. Um, but in the flesh, it's really lovely, dark purple glitter. I've smushed it out underneath, really pretty. So I've just put that all over my eyes. So first of all, she suggested the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. There's lots of different variations of these that you can get. I actually put near here just so I can show you. I tend to use the Dr. Dennis Gross mild ones. Obviously, you know I've got my rosacea. I have to be really careful with stuff like that. So I haven't tried these exact ones yet, but this is what she used. I won't do it tonight just in case it does flare anything up. And basically, it's a pad that's pre-soaked in exfoliants, and you're going to rub this all over, but she said pay particular attention to areas that gather makeup surround the nose and also anywhere that you're going to attempt to get a really good highlight later on. So she really emphasises the cheekbones, down the nose, across the forehead, just everywhere that you really want an absolute glow. You'd go in with that. Then, really clever way of looking at it, she took this, it was the Elemis Peptide 4 Adaptive Day Cream. I'm just going to do what she used, but slot in whatever skincare you use, okay? She took the moisturiser in the high points of the face and she was saying how when she's building a glow for someone, she does it from the outside in because if you get all the glow here, then they're gonna look glowy and that's the end of that. And she said, with your hydration, anywhere that's gonna get oily through the day, like around here, you don't really wanna put too much extra moisture in there. Like, you know, and it makes perfect sense, but you've never thought of it. In terms of skincare prepping for makeup, this is. So great, that's what we've done. And then she took Pro Collagen Insta Smooth Primer in the center of the face. She said she only takes about half a pump, doesn't use too much. So I'm literally just gonna use that. And she said, bear in mind with your primer, it's probably designed to absorb oil, um, to go over pores, to mattify. Now, I would have just automatically thought, put it all over your skin. And she was like, no, just put it where you need it. She said, it's likely to reduce the glow in areas where it's mattified, like a long hair, which we don't want to reduce the glow. And she said, like, you haven't really got prominent pores around there, so what, what's the point in putting it there? Honestly, it was the simplest tips, but just, you know, mind blown. So then, which thought was lovely, she was saying, what she did to us was, she said, bring your makeup bag, do it along with me. We all had a setup of products and a mirror and everything, and we were doing all these steps with her. She said, if you've got any makeup in your bag, use whatever you want. Obviously, I have my makeup in my bag. So she actually said, I'm going to take, by the way, CC cream illumination in medium from It Cosmetics. Um, she said, if I was going to, for this next step, which was going to be to just add a little bit of all over gel or coverage to the complexion, she said the ones that she loves using is the glossier, um, that little concealer bounce part. I haven't actually used it myself, to be honest, but I always say nice stuff about it. And the other one she said was It Cosmetics CC cream. I literally messaged the girls from it straight away and said, oh, she just said in the masterclass that she loves the CC cream. See, all the best people love the CC cream. So right, I'm just gonna take this all over. I'm probably gonna do a little bit more coverage than she suggested, but just because I am so pink, 
I want to really make sure that I've got all my coverage. But this illuminating one is so like luminous. I don't want to say glossy because we're going to build a bit of a glossy look. But it's so fresh and dewy that it's going to lend itself well to the kind of glowy style that she does with her makeup. How am I doing for time? Five minutes, we've got loads of time. So, CC's going all over. I actually have only used like maybe one pump, which is a lot less than I'd usually use. I'm gonna see if I can get away with that. Okay, that's on. I should have said actually that isn't the shade medium, that's the shade light, because I haven't fake tanned, I need to fake tan tonight. So in case you're thinking, you know, any kind of comparison of what shade you're looking for, that was light. Then she said, concealer. If you want to thin it out a bit, bear in mind I've still got some CC there. If you want to thin it out a bit, mix it with a bit of oil. So, okay. So she took the uh, rose facial oil of theirs that's coming soon, mixed it with her concealer. I'm going to mix it with a bit of It Bye Bye Under Eye and take it on a little fluffy Spectrum AO6. Again, the Spectrum brushes were her like top picks, all her favourite shapes. To be fair, I don't think I've used these before and they are really fluffy and nice. So she said mixing it with the oil means that you get like this really lovely wet look glossy finish. Or obviously if you want to use your concealer to just add mattified areas where you want them, keep it as it is. I've got loads of that on my lips. I'll come back to it. Now powder. No, in fact, while I'm here, she didn't do blusher, but I love my Bobbi Brown Pot Rouge in Fresh Melon and I feel like it'll lend itself well to this. So I'm just gonna put a tiny bit on my cheeks to warm me up a little bit. I'm gonna come back to that. Now, tiny bit of powder on an AO8 from Spectrum. I'm gonna take that just in little oily areas and leave the rest fresh. So I want the center of my face to be nice and sealed. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna keep the rest nice and chewy. I've got two and a half minutes, I can do it. Oh yeah, I need to set my concealer so that nothing runs into it. Lovely. Now, this is kind of what blew my mind. Two things. First of all, she took some oil in the palm of her hand on a big fluffy brush that I'm going to show you. So, a few drops of this. Big fluffy fan brush, Spectrum C01. Smushed it in. And then she said, like, don't, um, don't rub as such but pat the oil on to give that kind of glossy skin finish. It might look a bit hard to read on this, but I feel like it will show up when I take some pictures. Lovely. And then, have I overdone the forehead? Possibly, but who cares? Then she said, with your facial mist, everyone goes in and spritzes the center. I do that all the time. But she said, you want the glow on the sides of your face. So don't spritz the center, spritz the sides. So this is the Pro Collagen Rose Hydro Mist. I'm gonna literally just do the sides, nowhere near the center. And then, actually, it was Grace from Elemis, who is so lovely. She does QVC for them, so I know her from QVC. She said, oh, earlier on, you missed this tip. Fluffy brush again, if you've got kind of thinnish lips. I'm going to take my Bobbi Brown Pot Rouge, the same as what I've used on my cheeks. And I take it all over the lips and slightly over the lip line. And just give a fresh, kind of bitten lip. So there we have it, little Katie Jane Hughes. I feel like that lip is a bit pale for me. Have I got something I could buff over it? I don't, I'll try that bit again. I do like the technique, but that's a bit pale. But never mind, skin looks great, really liked that. So um, I'll put her name below, do follow her if you're not already. And I hope you learned a few new glossy skin tips.